before we go to the stretches, we want to uh, make sure that our bodies are nice and warm. You don't want to do any stretches when your body is cold because it's easy to pull a muscle. And something you don't want to do. Stretches should be very gentle. Uh, they should feel good. They shouldn't cause pain. And you got to make sure that you're doing it in such a gentle way that you're not pulling any muscles. First, what I like to do is start out with jumping jacks. A really wonderful, easy exercise to do. If you don't have a soft enough uh, area to use, uh, or if you have a rebounder, um, but if you have grass, that's great. Um, I like to use a little uh, cotton mat uh, to jump on, and uh, it works great. So the amount that you can do, if you can do up to 200 jumping jacks, that's great. If you want to start at uh, a number that's lower enough to you know, make your uh, body warm enough to where uh, you can do some stretches. So here we go. This is the way that um, we do jumping jacks. So this is one full jumping jack, two, three, four, and we just jump and have fun. Jump as much as you want. You can uh, jump as long as you want. It's very healthy. <clears throat> helps to move the lymph around. Helps to move all the muscles around. Very healthy exercise. Increases your heart rate. And if you want, from there you can always uh, do just jumps. <sighs> or you can run in place a little bit. but do some jumping jacks for sure. These are great. All right, so on to the stretches. So uh, what we wanna do is uh, the muscles that we wanna stretch, we wanna stretch this uh, muscle here which is called the psoas muscle. We wanna stretch the quad muscles. We wanna stretch the hamstring muscles. <clears throat> Um, so it's very important to stretch those muscles, strengthen these muscles, and if we do that very well along with strengthening these muscles and the low back muscles, what they call the erector spinae muscles, uh, it's very much more difficult to have low ba back pain. So you want to this is where a lot of low back pain starts. It starts with uh, the, uh, the, the sacroiliac uh, problems, which are due to um, tight muscles in the glutes, tight muscles in the psoas muscles. So what we want to do is make sure that we keep those muscles loosened, and we want to make sure that we keep this muscle, the ab muscles, strong. We want to make sure that we keep the erector spinae muscles strong and strong and when you do that it's very difficult to have low back pain. If you're having low back pain now start with these exercises and do them for some months and if you don't have low back pain at the moment um, I would recommend doing these exercises. It will keep you from ever having low back pain. Alright so first we're going to uh, stretch the, the hamstring muscles and it's a real gentle stretch. We just want to stretch our legs out here and come in and we get a nice stretch right here. We hold that for 20 seconds. Alright, and we always do everything both sides bilateral and again we come in Get a nice stretch right, right on the belly of that muscle and hold for 20 seconds. Okay, now to stretch the, uh, the lower hamstring muscles, simply uh, 
a couple of different ways you can do it, but <clears throat> if you're able to do this stretch, you just come down, fingers to toes, and you get a nice stretch in here. And if you're more capable, you just move your feet in further and you get more of a stretch. And uh, if you prefer, you can stretch from here. And you can, this is easy for you if, you, if you can't stretch very far, you can just stretch as far as you can go. Enough to get a stretch here, but make sure that you're, like you did enough uh, warm up exercises so that, um, uh, so that the muscles are warm. Okay, so we always do both sides. And if you do the stretch in this position, you do a, a third stretch down the middle. So that's 20 seconds, 20 seconds, hold 20 seconds, hold 20 seconds. Okay, next, since we're in this position, and I'll show it from this angle, if you are having uh, uh, problems with uh, disc degeneration or uh, disc herniations or anything, uh, this is a good stretch. Nice and easy, knees to the chest, and get a full stretch. You can hold this for any length of time, but hold it for 20 seconds at least. If you want to rock around in this position, you can do that as well. Okay, and also uh, you want to get a stretch whereby one leg is extended, the other leg is flexed to the chest, and hold for 20 seconds. And again, if you want to rock around, that's good as well. Other side, 20 seconds, hold. Okay, great. All right, next, from a uh, side position, and uh, I might show you at both angles. I'll show one uh, leg from this angle, and the other leg I'll show from the other angle. And what you want to do here is you want to gently pull your heel to your butt. This leg stays extended, and you stay on your side and hold that position, hold a nice stretch for 20 seconds. Okay, so the, so the other way. And hold that stretch. Get a nice stretch there on the quad muscles all the way up to where the uh, psoas muscle starts. Okay, now a couple of different ways that we can stretch the psoas muscle, but one of the easiest ways is uh, just simply lunge with one leg and hold this leg back until you can feel a nice stretch. And that's right in the groin area there. And hold this stretch for 20 seconds. If you have a, a bar and you want to hold on to the bar to do this stretch, you can. But it's not necessary. You can do it just, just the way I am right here. Okay. Next stretch. So you just want to lean into that muscle. Get a nice stretch there, 20 seconds. If you want to hold the stretch longer for this muscle, it's, it's okay. This is a big muscle. It's the primary flexor uh, that you use all the time when you're walking or running or whatever you're doing. This muscle is getting used. So make sure you take good care of it. All right, so if you guys are following along, I'm sure you guys are feeling pretty good right now. All right, so that's, uh, that's most of the, uh, the muscles that are the most essential for 
keeping well stretched, okay? Another last final uh, stretch uh, that I like, which is really, really good for the, uh, for the upper area and the, and the, and the mid back here, is uh, just come and uh, just come back and stretch. And you can stretch to one side, stretch to the other side. And that stretch can change your day. If you're at a computer for many hours during the day, take a break, do a stretch like that. Feel like a new person. All right, as long as you hold it uh, for enough time, again, hold that stretch. I recommend stretches in general be held for 20 seconds at least. Um, and with repetition, strength like things, uh, do the amount you can do and build up from there. So now we're going to uh, move to the strength uh, part of the exercises. So um, be careful with these when you're fasting because if you overdo it one day, uh, you'll want to rest the next day. Uh, and the way that you know if you've overdone it or not is how sore you are. If you're really severely sore, uh, then you overdid it. And um, this is very easy to do after a long fast. Um, but don't worry about it. Your body actually comes back uh, much more quickly uh, in a, in a refeeding after a long fasting state uh, than uh, in a normal day-to-day uh, uh, -day, uh, feeding state. So, uh, so if you did, do overdo it one day, don't worry. Just rest the next day and by the day after that you'll be fine. You'll be ready to go again. Mm -hmm.